Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can use the CPQ module inside Freshworks CI. The first thing that you need to do is create a document template. We'll be going under admin settings, and here you can search for documents on the top. This would be available for an administrator. So once an admin comes in and searches for it, he can then click on document module, but they can then configure the fields that are required to be captured under a document. So here you have basic information like shipping address, billing address, uh, document validity date. So you can create such fields and have them configured. So these are the fields, but to create the document, we have a document template section. So you can have different types of documents created. Uh, you will notice that I already have one. So let's first look at this. If I go into this non-disclosure agreement, it's a document that I uh, created. It's very similar to a template builder. So you will be able to drag and drop elements. It ideally has a header, the contents of the document, and then a footer. Uh, what you can do is you can drag and drop elements. So right here, if I wanted a break, I can add that break, delete it, change the content, the images, all of them. I can also insert placeholders. So these placeholders could be values like, uh, let's say I have to include the billing address. Then I will be able to search for that specific field right here. So you can include placeholders so that you don't have to type in everything. So once the template of the document is created, you can then save this. Currently, since we already have this document saved, you are able to see it here. Now, if you wanted to use this document, uh, you would relate that to a specific deal have a deal which I'm working on maybe and uh, I have to send out this document to the customer to get it signed. So what I can do in this case is create it. I'll call this a non-disclosure agreement because that's the document type and I'll give it a name. So here I'm giving it a name, choosing the template and then I'm also adding the validity for this. Yeah. So currently you can see that the validity is 28th of February. And I also have certain details like the billing address captured. So I can go ahead and save this. Before saying, it just gives us a primary overview of this specific template. I can view this as a preview or I can also save this as a draft. Let's say I want to send it straight away. I can click on save and send. It will then allow me to send it across as an email and also track this. So if a person was to open this specific email or click on any link within it, I will get a notification regarding it. So once you have saved this as a draft, if you go back to the deal that we were working on, you will then be able to see that created as a related document. So whenever you see a specific uh, document, you can also view all the activities that took place, like when the document was created, when it was sent, or when you updated the stage. I hope this was useful and helpful. In case if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact us. Have a nice day.